Hey, shall you want me as well? First off, once I call a lull, you have a bash in my house, shy, bash in my car, could ash. Um, broke the thumb. Alright, double honors to the elders, and the um, and the apostles of Great Millstone, shall you want to the brothers in the highways and byways, preaching and teaching his word in sincerity and in truth. This is your brother Chapal from the Jimmy's Jamaica camp. Now, um, very often we see um, a lot of things pop up in the news, you know what I mean, and um, we as the prophets of the Heavenly Father out here in Jamaica, predominantly from the tribe of Benjamin, you know what I mean, we, 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 um, we go through the news, alright, and filter it through the scriptures, you know what I mean, so this is one thing we want to um, clarify, alright, and show you the deception of our government, and um, you know what I mean, all, all these people is selling out, um, the government, a matter of fact, is selling out the people of Jamaica. You know what I mean? Alright, so it's based on the, the NIDS, right? And what they did, then they came out in the first place when this was introduced to Jamaica. It's, and a matter of fact, it's not a, a Jamaican thing. You know what I mean? It's a worldwide thing. It's coming from the UN. It's a UN mandate. Right? Right? Every country in the world is supposed to have an um, a electronic ID or a, or a digital identification. Okay? It's monetary right across the world. So it's not a Jamaican thing. Okay. So when um <clears throat> so the things that are attached to it is not of Jamaican and, and it's not the choice of any Jamaican government. Alright? So when it came out, they said to the people that this you, they're gonna need um your, your biometric information, alright? Then there was an outcry amongst the people. You know, people wanted to know why you're gonna need so much information, your blood type. Your, um, your, your, your medical records, you know what I mean? Basically, your whole DNA, you know what I mean? And then, when it was causing an uproar, they withdrew, all right? And they said that they don't no longer need all of them information. Right? They, don't, they, they wanted just your, your fingerprint and so on and so forth. Same, but really and truly what they're doing is deceiving the people because they, they, um, they're trying to go smooth through with this thing without a uproar or any hesitation from the people so you have a lot of ads been running right in the news saying um they don't need how easy it's going to be and they don't need certain information and you know it's all a lie and people saying where which they were the ones who came out with it you know what i mean which is not of their um doing so we just jump in our scripture the first thing because these people can deceive um the, the normal man on the street you know, saying but we out there in highways and byways, you people can't deceive the men of the Lord. Yo. So, first scripture I want to get is Isaiah 62, verse 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And who is Jerusalem? You know what I mean? We, alright? As the Hebrew Israelites go back from the, 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 um, the lines of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know what I mean? We are Jerusalem. And Jerusalem was a place, it was a people, it's like, yeah, before it became a place. You know what I mean? Wherever the children of Israel dwell, there will be Jerusalem. Jerusalem just means um, city of peace, Yerushalayim, city of peace. You know what I mean? Since so wherever Jake dwell, speaking about us Israelites, there is Jerusalem. So he said, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Who is the watchman? You? The men out there in the highways and byways preaching and teaching his word. You know what I mean? It's JMS merely. And the ones who teaching. Um, that of GMS, you know, worldwide, throughout the Caribbean, you know what I mean? Throughout the world, I'm a matter of fact, see? So he said, We shall never hold a peace day or night that ye, um, slack here, he said, We shall never hold a peace day or night, right? That ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silent, right? And that's the point. Ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silent. Alright, so we're the watchman and yeah, we're not going to keep silence on these matters, yo. Seeing we're going to bring them and we're going to filter all of them through the scriptures. And we're going to show you how deceitful, how deceitful our people is. The heads of our gov government towards the natural man. Alright, see? We'll just get another quick precept, alright? And we'll show you what the watchmen, watchmen, okay? And we'll show you. That the watchmen of the Lord of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and now we keep silence. Alright? So let me show you the watchmen of this society, alright? See? So this is CM Isaiah 56, alright, verse 10. It says, Watchmen are blind. 
right? Yeah, and your wholeness and all of you, you're blind you. Because this is not, this is selling your people and even their selves into slavery, deeper shit than, than what I mean. Alright, slavery back then is going to be like paradise to this coming slavery, yo. Alright? Um, to this system, what am I going to bring in? So it's, um, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant, alright? They're ignorant, yeah, they're ignorant of the, the, the technology, they're, in, they're ignorant of what they're doing because all of this I said before, I'm going to make the slavery back then look like a walk in a park, yo. Total and uttermost control of everything. Alright? So I said they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, laying slumber. Alright? So yeah. Let me just get into the, into the, the, to the, to the, to the video, matter of fact, before I read any other line in this precept. Just let me get to the video. Alright? Just give a brief understand what we're speaking about okay let's play this video we are not asking for anybody's dna i want to make it very clear it was never contemplated and it is not going to be asked for we're not asking for anybody's debit or credit cards we're not interested in your financial information that was said and it's incorrect it was never contemplated and i'm just making sure the viewers understand there is no need to have a fear because um, it's being done in many countries, most of Latin America, most of Africa, most of Asia, all of North America. Hey, and that, um, that just proves that this is not a thing of Jamaica, all right? This is um, something handed down, right, which is supposed to be carried out. You know what I mean? And all of your biometric information are going to be on that card. Whether Jamaican want to deceive you or not. The fact we mean is that they cannot do anything about it, see? But they, what they can do is, they can lie to you, right, and tell you that they don't need certain information, but guess what, right? Whenever you go to the doctor, what, right, you're going to need that, that, that um, NIDS card, right? Right, and, and the doctor of what? The doctor of your DNA, okay? See, so they can retrieve your DNA from that, all right? Your bank account, or you're going to do um, governmental transaction. Without no bank account, you're gonna know all your bank account information. You see, all of these things are gonna be there, right, for you to be seen because it's gonna be run on a secure network, like right, the blockchain, which everybody is gonna, all the information is gonna be visible to the world to see. You know what I mean? Or whosoever you're doing business with, you know what I mean? There's nobody that's gonna be, be hidden or off the grid, you know what I mean? And that's what this information, that's what this, this card is about. Let's continue the video. Of Northern Europe, all the European countries have national IDs, and the project team is making every effort to learn from the best practices of these countries. And I just want to, you know, to make people sort of not get too not have the fear. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly not a police system. It's for improvement in services delivered by the government. All right. So they say it's not for security system. It's for improvement. All right. <laughs> okay, now what she opened the um, the the the, um, the video right and say was that they're not going to need your biometric information. You know, let me just play that again. We are not asking for anybody's DNA. I want to make it very clear. Okay. It was never contemplated, and it is not going to be asked for. We're not asking for anybody's debit or credit cards. Okay. We're not interested in your financial information. Okay. That was said, and it's incorrect. It was never contemplated, and I'm just making sure the viewers understand there is no need to have a fear because um, it's... Okay, let's just stop there. Okay, so let's pause a minute and bring up um, some facts on the screen. Okay, so we here we have biometrics and the meaning of um, basically your yeah, um, biometrics, which is going to be on a card, all right, from um, Google, all right, you have Wikipedia um, link at the bottom there. So it's a biometrics is a um, technological term of body measurement and calculations. It refers to metric related to the human characteristics, all right. So, um, biometric authentication um, 
yeah, authentication is used in computer science as a form of identification and access control. You hear that? Access control. These people want a total control. The people want to know everything about you. You know what I mean? Right? How to control, how to manipulate you, right? How to control your resources around you. Alright, continuing it's a, it is um it is um also used to identify individuals in groups that are under surveillance. Hey, and that's the hey that's that is the ultimate goal, yo. As you can see, up at the top you have a picture of your fingerprint, right? Um the patterns that, that um that, that is in your, your um your, your whole palm, you know what I mean, and your retinal scan. Right, so all of these things are gonna distinguish you, right, from a, um from basically um as it's a group, right? You you're gonna be it you're gonna be every every man every man, let me just say this, everybody is um unique. Everybody have a unique fingerprint, alright? And um certain uniqueness about them, right? Saying even if you're born as um identical twin, you have a certain type of uniqueness about you. Right, something that the, the other individual doesn't have and that is what they want to, to, to distinguish you you specifically right from each other right to know about you and to, to keep you under surveillance you know what I mean right so you can once upon a time in Jamaica you could fly on, on um, your brother's passport or whatever and you know certain fraudulent things that's not gonna be anymore you saying all right so we just Pause the screen again and get up another some other information. All right, cool. Okay, so all right, this is another video which we want um play. Basically, it's the prime minister speaking. Are you going to see the information? It's it's um it's going to be specific, right, and unique. You know what I mean? So yes, you need your DNA. If you're going to be unique, you're going to need your DNA. All right. And certain um, biometric information about you. So let's let's show you the deception of these people, yo. All right. We're we'll just going a couple of scriptures. All right. Afterwards. We are moving towards a digital economy. We have just secured a major program with the IDB to create the digital economy in Jamaica. A part of that digital economy is the creation of a national identification system. The national identification system is designed to secure the unique identity of every Jamaica. Gone. That's it. The unique identity of every Jamaica. You know what I mean? So you know I'm gonna have let's just say this. For secure the unique identity of every Jamaican, alright? You're gonna be you're gonna need all of this. Alright? You're gonna need your biometric as I said before, yo. These people are deceiving. Alright, these people are deceiving the nation. You know what I mean? We well, let's get a script scripture before we um let's get a scripture. Alright? I'll just continue in the, the, the previous scripture. This is um back in Isaiah fifty six. Alright. Say his watchmen are blind. Right, yeah, yeah, Andrew Holiness you're blind now. See? Because hey, you're a watchman, you're supposed to be watching out for the for the um you're supposed to be watching out for the flocks. Or you're supposed to be watching out for your people. You know? But you're blind, you can't see it. Right? See they are all ignorant. Right? They're all dumb dogs, they cannot bark. Lying, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they're all, all greedy dogs, right? And they are greedy dogs because guess what? As the scripture said, they make a covenant with death and hell. You know what I mean? See, they make a covenant to put you people back in slavery because guess what? That's the reason why they're selling out Jamaica a lot of, um, a lot of, not to chief on the point, but a lot of, um, properties in Jamaica now is being privatized. You know what I mean? Because they don't think that, that, um, they're doing anything wrong. You know what I mean? And they keep on doing this for years. You know, but, but the reason why they're doing this is because, hey, they, they're receiving a lot of money off of it. They're receiving a lot of benefits. You know what I mean? But in, in a couple of years, 
after this if if large b right and we don't want to see a couple of years more in in you know, the system you know but let's just say a couple of years um ahead you know what i mean they will be good they will be set up right right they will be set up with a lot of money all right and our people will be what deeper in slavery because we don't want anything you know what i mean so these men these men are greedy you know? and this is the reason why we can't trust our politicians you know? You know what I mean? The only person, the only people, hey, trust me. The how about Shimi is the only power, you know? I wouldn't see no hope in this system, in this society. You know? With men like these, yo, we know, we know, hey, and, and these people are joining on to the wicked. Alright? Continuing, so they are greedy dogs. Alright? Which can never have enough. Right, they are <clears throat> it's like a, they are shepherds that cannot understand. Right, they look for their own way. Every one of his, every one for his gain, from his quarter. All right, hey, and that 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 go back to all you wicked wicked ass people, yo. Seeing, I mean, everyone for his own gain. All right, as the scripture says, no one to judge the fatherless. Who is the fatherless? Us as the Hebrew Israelites, yo. See, because we turn from our power. See, but we as the men of the Lord coming back, you know, we are here to show and teach, you know what I mean? Bring back the house of Israel. Alright? Just pause and get up another information on the screen. Hey, see it? And we have the features. Um and you can get this this um information and the, the um some the GOJ, Government of Jamaica Network. Um, 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 website, a matter of fact, you know what I mean. You can get any one of these on any governmental um, website, you know what I mean. The information is there for you, people. Go look it up, you know what I mean. Go and look it up, research for yourself, all right? And you see the deception and the two tongue treachery, you know what I mean. People who, who your people um, look up to, you know. So, these are the features of the NIDS. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll just um, get a little information. You know what I mean? Since so you people can go research it for yourself. You know what I mean? So, the features of the NIDS. Alright? One, capture and storage of personal identity information. Alright? Civil and biometric. Alright? Civil and biometric. Alright? Through an enrollment process. Um, at birth, all right, or at any age thereafter. So, right at birth, all of your biometric information is going to be collected, your DNA and all of that. You know, what I mean, don't let these people fool you, yo. you know. All of this information is going to be collected, and this is on the website, right? This is on the website, right? The GOJ website, okay. On a lot of governmental websites and can cheer it to what this woman is saying in the, in the video you know what i mean basically yeah, yeah, she what she's saying yo she don't need all, the, all of these information you know what i mean so let's go down further it's um insurance of national identification number nin nin and a multi-purpose card for every jamaican citizen personal and person um ordinarily um, reside, resident in Jamaica online identity ver verification service to verify identity this online identity verification um, will soon be operated as free for service to provide revenue right that will be help that will help to support and sustain the NID yes, basically alright so these are the, some of the benefits See, to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of government um, with the use of a unique num um, national identification number creating a linkage between um, entities and providing the following um, services citizens to government um, government to citizen and government to government among other alright and second it um, improves the delivery of state social benefits through accurate identification and beneficiaries. Now, one of the ways which 
government I go get your 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 um, show you that this woman is deceiving your people. One of the ways, cause she referred to that's um they don't need, need your bank account information. Look man, anything you're getting from the government, you have to go through a bank, all right? Or you have to go through some secured system. A government now go come and put no the money in your hand just like that, yo. See, so they they are gonna need your bank account. Your bank account is go it's gonna be on that card. You know what I mean? Every single information about you. See? So all them are going to deliver aid or social benefits to you. Alright, so the people that are on part. Alright, and so the people that um, need um, pension or whatsoever. You're supposed to collect your pension. Right? All of your, your information is going to be on that card. Right? And you're going to use that card to collect your pension. You know what I mean? Which your bank account is going to be on it. Because guess what? Money is, hey, money is, is obsolete. Money will be obsolete. They, they're not going to be no use for paper money because paper money cannot be checked. And that's the key. You know what I mean? To, to have everything monitored, quantified and checked. Right? They need to control each and every, every everything. Alright? So these people are deceiving you. You know what I mean? So let's get back to the video. Alright? With all of this information we bring across and, and hear the, the, the interview again. We are not asking for anybody's DNA. I want to make it very clear. It was never contemplated and it is not going to be asked for. We're not asking for anybody's debit or credit cards. We're not interested in your financial information. That was said and it's incorrect. It was never contemplated and I'm just making sure the viewers understand there is no need to have a fear because um, it's being done in many countries. Look, you, these people are lying blatantly to your face, yo. See? Uh, with all of the information we put out there, alright? And with, with all of the, the information out there to be searched from you people, you know what I mean? Hey, these people are blatantly lying to your face. You know what I mean? And, and, and a lot of you people now don't even do research for yourself. There's a lot of information out there. See, our people, what? Our people don't really. Take heed to things unless they may not the heat at the moment, right? Unless things reach them, then everybody will run up and down and try to get certain information, yo. You know? Alright, but our people need, hey, this is one of the things, yo. This year, 2019, you're going to know how real slavery is, alright? When that ID is being rolled out, right? 2019 onward, alright? If it's not this year, right? If, if it doesn't, if it isn't complete this year, Right, going in 2020, okay, and onward, then you're gonna start feeling some real squeeze. You know what I mean? And we welcome all of that, yo. Think we know our deliverance. You people don't know Jack. You know what I mean? See? But you people are gonna know slavery feel when your water has been quantified and your electricity, alright? Because that's, that, that, that's me and all of this total and utmost control. You know what I mean? Alright? Total and utmost control. Everything is supposed to be in a form of data. See, because guess what? You're supposed, you're supposed to, to, to control a lot of your, your, your people's supplies and a lot of your, 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 um, your resources. You know what I mean? Everything is going to be quantified. You know? See? Your, your, your health records and everything, you know? See? So, so that's the main reason, right? And that's the main reason why all of these changes is being taken place. It's been taking place, yo. Total and utmost control. Alright? And it, and these people is, are helping. Right? Our people are helping this agenda. Right? Which has been pushed not by our people. But let's get in our scripture, right? So this is Jeremiah 5, verse 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. And women, right? They lay wait as he that set it snare. They set a chop. Um, they catch men, right? And this ID, right? Which is the um, and we didn't mention this in the video because we want to stay on the ID, um, a little. But this ID, right, is a a pre-run or a test run, all right? Or set the framework 
for the NIDS um, RFID microchip. For the RFID microchip, a matter of fact. You know what I mean? Which is the mark of the beast which the scripture speak about in Revelation um, 13 verse 16. You know what I mean? See? Um, that, that is one of the, the main things which um, we, we out here um, as James, um, as men of Lord, I'm looking forward to. You know what I mean? Because what this does is get a, a lot of the information from you people. So it's going to be easy. And with you hooked up to the grid and solely depending on, on that card, all right, when that card is going to be taken away from you, then what? Then um, a microchip implant will be given to you. You know what I mean? That's the only means of survival. So a lot of you people are going to be running towards the chip. You know what I mean? A lot of you people, because you'll be solely depending on the card. And when that card has been taken away and the society breaks down, you can't go back out into the world. See, but we as men of the Lord, yo, you know what I mean? The Lord are going to save his people and provide for his people. See? You know what I mean? And, and, and as, as scripture said, we read a while ago, it's a chop, yo. See? To lure you in. And them use things as convenience. You know? It, it's going to stop crime and all of these things. See me? To catch you. Right? Verse 27 says, As a cage is full of birds, so are their hosts full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax rich. Alright? Hey, that's the government, man. Say, They are waxing fat and shine. Yea, they oppress the deeds. Say, I'm stuck here. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause of the fatherless. Alright? And who is the fatherless? Right, we as is um Hebrew Israelite, right? We as a nation who don't know our father, who's our father, you how about shimmy how shy. You know what I mean? So yet they um yet they prosper and the rights of the needy they do not judge. Right? Do they not judge? It's like yeah. You know I mean, and the scripture said they oppress the um they over the overpass the deeds of the wicked and what the wicked. He tell him Malachi one and four. You know what I mean? So Edom is the border of wickedness. Who is Edom? Edom is, goes back to the um, Esau, right? You know what I mean? Who is, who is what? Is the so-called white man today? Edom, right? So you see every nation um, upon the face of the earth is here today, right? And the so-called white man who is Esau, who the scripture says is the border of wickedness, right? The scripture says our people, wickedness our people, so overpass them. Right, because our people are the one we are help these people put us in slavery. See? Right, but hey. The most I hey, the most I I can punish all of you people, yo. We'll just get a scripture from um from Jeremiah. Okay, so this is Jeremiah 9, right, verse 26. Um, basically we start at verse 25 Jeremiah 9 verse 25 says, Behold the days come it, say the Lord That I will punish all them which are circumcised With the uncircumcised Alright Egypt and Judah Alright And Edom Alright so, so guess what The scripture also say um, Though and join the land The wicked shall not go and punish You know what I mean Alright and, and if you join hand with them Hand in hand, hand, in hand It's like yeah with the wicked, you also go get trust too. You know what I mean? And these 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 leeches, right? Right? These so-called leaders have joined hand in hand with these people. So guess what? This is what the scripture say. Alright, and this punishment is for you people. Alright? So it's a behold the days come and say the Lord when I will punish when I will punish all them which are circumcised and with them circumcised. Egypt, Judah, right, which is our nation, and Hedom, so-called white man, which I bring all of this system and all the turmoil up on our people. Most of them are going to punish you. And the children of Haman, all right, Moab, all right, and Hall that are in the Hotamus corner that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised and all the hosts of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. 
Alright? See? You're unclean in the heart, yo. See? And it's not circumcision as in the physical circumcision. It's talking about circumcision of the heart, as the scripture said. You know what I mean? You're unclean in the heart, yo. See? It's telling the people, um, vain whoop. The way that wants to call the lal, you how about she may or shy whoop this lesson was edifying. You know what I mean? Um, the blunders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shall I warm to the brothers in the highways and the byways, preaching and teaching his word in sincerity and in truth? Shall I warm?